Russia is making its most significant gains in Ukraine in months. British intelligence officials say Russian troops and mercenaries of the war have achieved tactical successes in the area of the settlement of Soledad and probably control most of the city now. ABC News Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman joins us live from Dnipro, Ukraine with more on this. Matt, Ukrainian officials say Russia's carried out 86 strikes on eastern Ukraine in just the past 24 hours. Uh, what has that been like and how important are these gains that are being reported? You know, it's unclear how important the gains are at this point. By the way, those 86 strikes, that doesn't include all of the tactical small arms infantry uh, in those cities, the mortars, the tank shells. There's so much more going on. We are hearing that the fighting in Solidar and in Bakhmut is ferocious. Um, also hearing anecdotally that there are lots of wounded and they're considering actually moving back some of the um, triage centers for those wounded. As for how strategic and how important it is, we don't really know at this point, but Solidar is on a major road that leads to Bakhmut. Bakhmut is more strategically important, sort of a crossroads in that area. But more than anything, this is about morale, it seems, for the Russians. And that's why they put forth this Wagner Group. The Wagner Group is a mercenary group, sort of like Blackwater in the U.S., but much larger. Uh, we're hearing reports that that is a significant proportion of the fighting personnel in that that area right now and they are making some significant gains they are apparently they are uh, ferocious fighters uh, unclear how much more resources Ukraine wants to put into it um, against them but it is, seems that Russians are willing to put pretty much everything they have right now into taking those two key towns this is going to last for some time by the way, it is really cold out. Uh, it's going to be near zero there overnight, and there's a wind chill. So the fighting is taking place in really uh, austere and rough conditions, Diane. Uh, Matt, we also know the U.S. will be training Ukrainian soldiers in the use of Patriot missile batteries. Why are those so important in this fight? So the Patriots can protect against all those uh, cruise missiles and uh, ballistic missiles that have come into Ukrainian cities uh, over the past pretty much year so far, right? So Patriots are very expensive, about a million dollars or more each, uh, and that's why they have this contingent of about 100 Ukrainian trainees uh, being sent to Fort Sill pretty much as we speak uh, to do this training. Now, Pentagon says the training will be condensed from about a year to several months, but this will give cities like Kiev, we don't know where they'll be deployed, um, basically, uh, an umbrella, uh, a protective shield against the, the biggest missiles that um, Russia can fire against them. And that could give them a bit of uh, breathing room and a bit of rest. Um, now, when they're going to be deployed, we don't know. Maybe a couple of months. Where? We don't know exactly. And they're actually keeping the shipment uh, a major secret because they're concerned that the Russians might try to attack it uh, once it comes into Ukraine, Diane. All right, Matt Gutman, stay safe. Thank you, Matt. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.